It started with a whisper, a rumor that rippled through the corridors of power in Brussels. A classified memo, leaked from a high-level NATO defense meeting, landed on the desks of a select few officials. The subject, Project Fenrir, Engine Performance Review. What it contained was a bombshell. The memo detailed covert flight tests over the Swedish Arctic, featuring a Saab Gripen E unlike any before. This jet was faster, quieter, and more elusive than any Gripen on record. The data was so extraordinary, many dismissed it as a typo or disinformation. But as intelligence analysts from Washington to Berlin scrambled to verify, a startling picture emerged. For years, Sweden and the UK had secretly collaborated, fundamentally transforming the grip in E. The memo was a revelation, a carefully timed disclosure of a project that redefined fighter jet capabilities. It described an aircraft with an engine signature so faint it barely registered on advanced thermal sensors. A jet that could take off from icy runways, stay airborne longer, and carry a formidable payload. The implications were immediate and profound. This wasn't just an upgrade, but a paradigm shift. The Gripen, once seen as a second-tier fighter, had become a contender for dominance in the high north. The shockwaves hit hardest within the F-35 program consortium, challenging its narrative of undisputed aerial supremacy. The memo suggested that focused, clandestine innovation could rival, and in some scenarios, surpass the multi-trillion dollar F-35. More than a technical report, it was a declaration the rules of aerial supremacy were being rewritten. The game had changed, and the world was watching. The secret to the Gripen's transformation wasn't in its silhouette, but deep within its fuselage. Project Fenrir, a joint venture between Saab and Rolls-Royce, replaced the standard engine with a radically modified, bespoke Rolls-Royce Spectre. Engineers worked in isolated secrecy, aiming not just for more thrust, but for a smart engine, one deeply integrated with the jet's core systems. The Spectre's thermal management system recycled and masked its own heat, slashing the infrared signature. This stealth didn't rely on radar-absorbent paint, but on thermodynamic ingenuity. To accommodate the Spectre, Saab and Rolls-Royce overhauled the Gripen's internal architecture, central computer, electronic warfare suite, and power systems. The new core acted as a central nervous system, allowing real-time communication between engine and avionics. Power could be dynamically shifted to jamming systems or sensors in an instant. The result, a jet that could think, react, and adapt to threats like no fourth-generation fighter before. The Fenrir Gripen wasn't just faster or more powerful, it was smarter. By perfecting the heart and mind of a proven platform, they created a ghost in the machine. The Gripen's legendary low-maintenance costs remained, but its capabilities now put it in a class of its own, a hidden upgrade that changed everything. Project Fenrir's revelation came at a critical time for Arctic nations like Canada. As the Arctic becomes a strategic hotspot, defending it demands unique tools. Canada's vast, frigid north requires jets that can operate from remote airfields, fly long distances, and survive brutal weather. Traditional reliance on southern airbases is obsolete. Agility and resilience are now essential. The upgraded Grapen E, with its cold weather reliability and fuel efficiency, seems tailor-made for Canada's needs. The memo from Brussels highlighted capabilities that align perfectly with Canada's Arctic defense imperatives. Extreme cold weather reliability, long-range patrol efficiency, and minimal logistical footprint. Fenrir wasn't just engineering, it was a direct answer to Canada's strategic questions. The Arctic is actively hostile to advanced technology. Temperatures plunge, metal becomes brittle, electronics fail. The standard Gripen was already built for Sweden's winters, but Project Fenrir took this further. The Spectre engine uses new alloys and synthetic lubricants that perform in extreme cold. A revolutionary preheating system slashes scramble time, warming the engine and hydraulics internally. Ice accretion, a major Arctic danger, is countered by an advanced de-icing system, using engine bleed air and electrically heated surfaces managed by the central computer. The system anticipates ice buildup, applying heat only where needed, conserving energy. This leap in rugged, all-weather reliability makes the Fenrir Gripen a formidable Arctic defender. Other jets may boast speed or payload, but if they can't fly in the cold, those advantages mean little. 
Fenrir prioritized dependability, designed to thrive in the Arctic, ready at a moment's notice. Fenrir's genius is in its integration of next-gen capabilities into a single, cohesive platform. First, enhanced stealth. The Spectre engine's thermal management makes the Gripen nearly invisible to infrared sensors, crucial in the cold Arctic. Second, raw power and efficiency. The Spectre boosts thrust, enabling supercruise and rapid response over vast distances, all while using less fuel. Third, a vastly expanded electronic warfare suite. The new core powers advanced sensors and jammers, letting the Gripen dominate the electromagnetic spectrum, blinding radars, disrupting communications, and creating phantom targets. In the sparse Arctic, electronic dominance can be more decisive than missiles. All these systems are built on cold weather resilience, robust de-icing, heated avionics, and hardened systems. The result? Stealth, power, electronic warfare, and reliability all in one. The Fenrir Gripen is an electronic wolf in sheep's clothing. It's not just an upgrade, it's a shock to the system, a new standard for Arctic air power. The Fenrir Gripen E's emergence forces a direct comparison with Canada's chosen F-35. The F-35 is a fifth-generation marvel, stealthy, sensor-rich, but complex and costly. Its radar-evading design is unmatched, but the Gripen's new engine gives it a critical edge in the infrared spectrum vital in the Arctic. The F-35's high procurement and operational costs are a burden for a country needing extensive patrols. Survivability philosophies differ, the F-35 avoids detection, the Gripen is hard to see, hard to hit, and easy to get back in the air. The Gripen can operate from short damaged runways, be rearmed quickly, and generate more sorties. In a conflict, dispersal and resilience may outweigh all aspect stealth. The real question, which jet is better for Canada's unique mission? The F-35 is a high-tech scalpel. The Fenrir Gripen, a resilient multi-tool. The secret upgrades force a rethink is the most expensive solution always the best for the Arctic. The Fenrir Gripen story is about more than technology. It's about competing philosophies of innovation and sovereignty. The F-35 program offers interoperability but at the cost of deep dependency on the U.S. for maintenance, upgrades, and even operational authority. For Canada, this raises tough questions. In a crisis, would we have full control over our most advanced asset? Project Fenrir takes a different path. Sovereign-centric innovation. Sweden and the UK tailored a solution to their needs, upgrading a proven airframe for less cost and more control. This model allows for technology transfer, domestic manufacturing, and independent upgrades. For Canada, it's a compelling alternative, a partnership, not just a purchase. Operational independence and cost effectiveness versus the all-in approach of the F-35. Fenrir proves there's another way to achieve air superiority, one that empowers nations. The secret isn't just a new engine, it's a new philosophy. The leaked Fenrir memo is sending shockwaves through the aerospace world and NATO. For decades, the US dominated the fighter jet market. European jets were seen as second tier. The Fenrir Gripen shatters that perception, showcasing European innovation and autonomy. The Sweden-UK collaboration signals Europe's willingness to pursue independent defense solutions. It sends a message, Europe is not just a consumer, but a world-class innovator. Potential customers worldwide now have a credible, high-performance alternative to the F-35. The Fenrir Gripen offers near-fifth-gen capabilities without the price tag or dependency. It's a challenge not just to the F-35, but to NATO's adaptability in the face of disruptive innovation. As winter blankets the Canadian North, the nation stands at a crossroads. The Fenrir Gripen has thrown Ottawa's F-35 plans into question, offering a new, compelling option for Arctic defense. The choice is no longer just about generations of fighters, it's about two futures for the Royal Canadian Air Force. The F-35 offers deep U.S. integration and unmatched sensors, but at immense cost and dependency. The Fenrir Gripen promises operational independence, resilience, and a jet engineered for the cold. It's a partnership that could bring technology and jobs to Canada, and sovereign control over defense. The real question, what does Canada truly need to secure its sovereignty? The world is watching. 
The decision made now will define Arctic defense for generations.